Coach Prime and Coach Prime coaching staff doing what they do best, and that is recruit. Yes, they had a big, big official visit weekend, and they landed some big-time ballers for the Buffs, the likes that the Buffs haven't seen in a very long time. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, Coach Prime and the Colorado Buff Buffalo staff had a big time weekend. That's some major, major visitors on campus for the start of official visit weekend. Now, for everybody across the country, it was a bunch of official visits being taken place. Uh, Miami had a huge official visit weekend. I think they had four players in the top 11. Uh, Colorado also had uh, a big time official visit weekend. And that official visit weekend led them to three commitments, two from uh, consensus four stars. One of them being Brandon Davis Swain. Brandon Davis Swain, defense alignment out of Michigan, I want to say. Let's take a look at Brandon Davis Swain. He was one of the first of the three to commit. As you see, six foot four, 240 out of West Bloomingfield, Michigan. Consensus four star ranked in the top 200, according to 247. Composite 247 is, I think, is the best recruiting site. As you see, a hard commitment to Colorado, to the Buffs. He had offers from Michigan, Notre Dame, Auburn, and he chose to play for Coach Prime. He's going to go up there. And this is what we're going to start to see from Coach Prime and his staff is the landing of blue chip recruits. This is what we're going to see. I mean, obviously we've seen it. You know, he's done it at Jackson State. He did it when he first got to Colorado, flipping a, a five-star guy like Kermani McClain. And now you're starting to see with the 2024 class being his first class, the first really official class uh, there at Colorado. And they're starting to pile in some of the commitments. I think they're up to nine commitments so far. Uh, nine commitments for Colorado and Coach Prime in that 2024 class. And then he also was able to land, let me get this out of here, a wide receiver, four-star wide receiver. Let's go ahead and Zycarl Lewis out of Florida. You know, Prime loves, he loves the kids out of Florida. This is a speedster guy, 5'10", 160 pounds, a little light in the butt, but he is one of those speed kills type of player out of Tampa, Florida, Carrollwood Day High School, a top 350 recruit, a top 50, 55 player in the state of Florida. You know, we never, you can never have enough five stars. You can never have enough of influx of talent. As we know, Colorado's 23 roster is full with a bunch of transfers. And you're going to be able to see who are the hits and who are the misses. We won't know until the game's played. Some of them that were backups at their previous school, some of them coming over from lower level or lower schools where they were starters and they made a bunch of plays, but see how they'll be able to adjust to the Pac-12, a conference that had six teams ranked in it. And so you get, you got to continue to influx that roster with talent. And you're talking about guys like a, like a Zachary Lewis who had offers from Auburn and Florida, and Florida state, and Georgia, when you're able to land a wide receiver with those type of offers and that type of player, he's that special of a player that lets you know you're continuing to influx your team with a bunch of talent. Huge weekend for Coach Prime. They also landed a, a three-star, four-star running back uh, as well this weekend. So he had three big-time uh, recruit recruits. They also had one of the best players in the entire country on campus, and that is Charles Lester III. He was actually on campus. He's a top 20 player through the composite, a five-star via 24-7 via the composite, a top two cornerback, as you see, in the country, and he's also from Florida. We understand what Prime has been able to do when it comes to these five-star cornerbacks from Florida. Travis Hunter, two years ago, chose Jackson State and now is at Colorado to play for Coach Prime. He's originally from Florida. You also had Cormani McLean, who was a longtime Miami, who was a Miami commit, who's from Florida. He flipped at the last second and signed with Colorado and Coach Prime before Prime essentially had even made it to Colorado himself. And now you've got Charles Lester III, who was on campus, six foot one, 170 pound 
a senior going into his senior year at Venice High School, five-star cornerback, and he made the trip to Colorado. So this is a name, this is a player to keep an eye out on because we know when it comes to those Florida five-star cornerbacks, a lot of them want to be coached by the greatest corner to ever do it, and that is Deion Sanders. That is one thing. That is a feather in his cap he will always be able to have. He will always be able to have those connections with some of these highly, highly, highly rated DBs because he is Deion Sanders. And so Charles Lester the third is a name you may want to remember and keep an eye on. Now, this was also interesting, and this is something that you know Colorado fans can kind of go ahead and get used to. I want to show you this tweet by Adam Munstenberger. Uh, We've used his stuff before. Uh, he's, he, he tweeted this out. He said the Colorado Buffs have landed nine 247 composite blue chip high school recruits since Deion Sanders and company arrived in Boulder in December. The Buffs signed a total of nine blue chip high school recruits the previous seven years. The previous seven years, they've been able to sign in Orlando commitments from in less than seven months, in seven months, essentially. And they hadn't had that many in seven years. This is the uptick in recruiting that is going to take place when you have a Deion Sanders as your head coach. This is the uptick in recruiting that you are going to watch take place when you have a Deion Sanders as your head coach. Colorado's experiencing it now. And if they have any form of success in 2023, whether they have a great bunch of success in 23 or not, he's still going to be able to recruit. Because he is Deion Sanders. He's Coach Prime. He's going to be able to recruit. But let them go out and get six or seven wins. Six or seven wins. You're going to see this thing, this recruiting thing, uptick like crazy. You see the type of players that they're getting to visit. And the number one thing is just getting a kid on campus. Because once you get a kid on campus, he's more than likely you have a way better chance of landing said kid than as opposed to if he never makes it to campus. And Charles Lester, a five-star, and those two young men, Zy Carl and Brandon Davis Swain, all made it to campus. And so what they will be able to do, obviously two, three commitments, those two that we showed, and Charles Lester is one to keep an eye on. It was a great weekend for Colorado as they walked away with three commitments, three from three four stars one is a you know borderline four star but two composite four stars for sure four stars across the board and that is the influx of talent that you're going to continue to see take a look in land in boulder to play for coach prime and set staff now what they're able to do with that talent how they'll be able to cultivate the team that they have this year and what they'll be able to do on the field in 2023 because these are 24 kids right what they're able to do in 2023 will be big as far as pushing the momentum for the rest of the, the recruiting when it comes to the class of 2024. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Coach Prime and company took three commitments and is keeping their eye on Charles Lester III, a five-star cornerback out of Venice, Florida. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JLighty7. That is on Twitter and Instagram at JLighty7. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.